Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, this guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that. But it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possessed that set of skills, if I had the ability to mix the target as well as he does. When he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short, you pretty good job. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. All right, so here he is, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, DC, your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, undefeated 27-0. And history is certainly going to look back fondly upon what this guy has accomplished and puts that undefeated record online yet again here tonight. Usually at this point in your career, guys have made a mistake. There's been a hiccup. For Habib, there has been no hiccup, no missteps on his way to becoming one of the longest undefeated streaks that we've seen in mixed martial arts history. And it's because the skill is so high in every facet of mixed martial arts. He has fantastic striking. He has unbelievable wrestling, coupled with his sambo in the ground control, in the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov is second to none, one of the most damaging, dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. He is a man of principle, and no one knows better than you. There may be guys who work as hard in the game, but no one works harder than Khabib. Nobody works harder. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Lights out! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, and that fight. what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. It doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this one? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. Left hand punch from the plane. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Big leg kick land.
loop and punch. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand a strike with anybody in the UFC. He's got the turtle in that kick. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Three minutes and counting to go here in round one. So 28 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, he tagged him with the uppercut there. Shades of DC against John Jones at the second meeting. I mean, great job of getting in close and throwing that uppercut. Great angle. You're just going to stonewall me on that, John Oh, Jones. I love it. I hit him with a ton of mouthpiece. Came out. Mouthpiece went flying. We love you, John. It was one of my nicest and most fun moments. And with authority, goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Just over two minutes now to go. Single collar tie now. Nice kick. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nermango Meadow. Yeah, Habib Nermango Meadow is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch back. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nurmago Madoff gets the tie clinch here. Wild swing there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Come on, one minute left, let's go. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big punch lands. <laughs> 45 seconds remain in the round. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Oh, nice. Nice. Pretty good right hand. 30 seconds now to go in round one. He's, he's limping now. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Wow, well, that was a crazy round. I don't know if we should lob the chin of his opponent or give him the credit for landing head kick after head kick. When the head kicks land this often on the video game, it's because player one understands the game much better than player two. Tell your friend how to play the game, teach him how to block, or teach him how to throw the head kick too. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him head hunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't head hunt, don't head hunt. I'm yelling head hunt if right, I'm his quarter. Right. Because every time he's thrown, he's landing. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Muay Thai plump. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Leg kick. And he connects there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting. Now the transition to the judo throw right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. See who transitions first. Neon Billy. He's laying down ground upon. If he doesn't move on the bottom, he's going to get finished. It looks like the referee could step in here. <laughs> While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago Medov. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. 70 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And landing with 45% accuracy tonight against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Well, you gotta think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking point. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Very nice leg kick there by Nurmago Medov. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And now he's got that tie clinch. All right, single collar tie now. Just missing on the uppercut there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, blocks the shot. Big kick lands. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmago Medov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. Oh, knee to the head. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Try to establish that jab. That strike blocked by Nurmago Medov. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. 20 seconds left to go in round two. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. from that last round, DC, a lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range.
Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent nicely done as he gets the double leg takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Back mount now. Nurmagomedov's back in full mount. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Right hand punch with the clinch. And they separate. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, big punch land. Connects with the right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. He's found his range, now he's in a rhythm landing those nice, beautiful punches. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at, oh, now going to the judo throw, he ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pump or he can chase the mission. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground, a lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent. Now the guy's got armbar, he's attacking it on it. He's gonna attack armbar here. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Oh, now he's in trouble. So he submits him with the arm bar. I mean, just steps ahead of the competition where you're playing checkers, he's playing chess in the ground fighting. And it showed tonight in this big submission victory. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled. He's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 47 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an on bar. So there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. Man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.